So guys, apparently there's a new virus out on the rise and it has killed a nurse in India. And the name of the virus is called Nipah virus, I believe. Nipah or it's N-I-P-I-N-I-P-A-H. And the thing about the Nipah virus that's, that's so scary is that one, it kills you. you. You go into a deep coma after about uh, 24 to 48 hours after uh, having contact with someone infected or uh, the infection calls. So uh, also the other scary thing about it is that it's transferred from animals to humans. Uh, it is usually transferred through um, from fruit bats to uh, human beings. Um, the, the first case came out in 1999 and I actually remember seeing this years back about the uh, reading about the Nipah virus, and it's one of those viruses that you don't hear much about. Um, you know, it's not like Ebola in the sense that it's that's got a big name. You know, but but uh, but a nurse in India has died from it, and you know, it's something that you need to to keep an eye on. Uh, this this transmission, especially this transmission from uh, from animals to humans. You know, that's uh, that's the main transmission. You know, I've, ever since I saw that movie Outbreak with that little outbreak monkey, I've always been scared of like the transmission of some like creepy virus at some level. So uh, I just want to let you guys know about that, you know, and also when you're, when you're out there, you know, I know this, you think it's in India, it's not that far away, but um, you know, these things can get, they can move pretty quick. Um, also talking about infection control and washing your hands and um, all of this other stuff, you know, you need to be careful out there guys that, you know, we have needle sticks all the time. There's communicable diseases out there. You need to be careful when when uh, handling needles, handling sharps. You know, it's it's. I remember I, we had a girl who was actually stuck with a needle, and it was a patient that had uh, hepatitis. And the, uh, the luckily the nurse never did convert over. But you know that's a scary situation. It's a scary situation because. It doesn't always, you know, you have to wait days, especially if you if you get stuck with an HIV needle. All right, there is a one in 300 ch chance that you will convert over to HIV. Um, you know, that doesn't sound like much, but, but the thing is, what if you are that person that's stuck and you gotta wait, you know, or what if you're that one person and you do convert over, you know, so uh, so be mindful out there, guys. Be mindful that you're in the you're in the human business. You're into touching patients. You're you're into putting hands on patients. You know, you're you're in that business. So, you know, you always need to be in the back of your mind. And it can get crazy when you're out there on the floor and you're out there running around and getting busy to forget the you know the proper hand washing to uh, the, the sharps containers. You know, sometimes I've been out there running around with a needle. And I'm like, oh, you know, oh shit, I need to, I need to be careful with this because, you know, you get busy and you get in the moment. So guys, just remember, you know, keep an eye on this stuff. And I'll link this, uh, this Zippa virus or Nip, Zippa, Nipa virus down at the bottom, so you can read the story about the nurse who died. It's actually really sad because she was able uh, to tell her family, you know, at least she was able to tell her family bye. And she wanted to make sure that they, uh, you know, somebody was taking care of her kids. A super sad story. But I'll link it down. Anyways, guys, uh, you be safe out there. Be safe with uh, your nursing procedures, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.